today we are gonna be learning rug making. Part of my brain is like, do something simple, it's your first time. No! And the other half of my brain is like, do something extra and crazy and go for it and make this amazing thing. Hi guys, my name is Becky, welcome back to our channel. Um, if you know what we do here, you'll know that a lot of the times we are your DIY teachers, your guides, we show you how to make cool things. But a lot of the time, we're learning ourselves and we don't know everything and we like to kind of up our DIY set of skills. And today is gonna to be one of those videos. We have sort of this ongoing series where we teach ourselves new DIY techniques. In the past, we've taught ourselves embroidery, we've learned felting together. And today, we are gonna be learning rug making, specifically punch needle rug making. This has been like a rabbit hole I've been down the last couple days. I've been watching it all over TikTok. It's on YouTube. I keep getting recommended videos of people making them and I'm just, I can't stop watching it. It's so interesting and it looks so fun. I am so excited to learn how and hopefully teach you guys along the way. And a little bit of a spoiler, I'm bringing on a very exciting guest in this video to hopefully aid me. <laughs> in this journey. So make sure you watch this whole video, stay tuned for that, and subscribe if you haven't already. So before we make the rug, we have to come up with a design or a pattern for what I want the rug to be, and I, I don't know. I have so many ideas. So I'm gonna go grab my iPad and we will design something together. So the first thing we need to know is where is this rug going and what size should it be? I wanna make a rug that's actually gonna go in my bathroom. I have one in there currently, but it's actually the wrong size. It's too big, it covers the vent. It doesn't work. It's a small space, and for my first rug, I want to do a smaller one as well. So I think the perfect project to take on is one that can go in my bathroom where I need it to go. The funky thing about the space it needs to go is it needs to be almost like a lima bean shape to fit around the bottom of the toilet. So it would be something kind of like <laughs> that. And I remember um, back in like the 90s, everyone had those like toilet bath mats. They were like a funky shape that fit exactly around your toilet. I wanna do something like that, but not so obvious. Maybe a cool design that, that feels naturally that shape, not like I made it custom for my toilet. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so we've got this shape. Um, what am I gonna fill it with is the next question. So someone that's been a huge inspiration for me and really made me feel like confident enough to try and learn this myself is Denzel from Curry Goat here on YouTube. I found him first through a DIY leather bag video he did, which was so amazing. He's done a bunch of um, sneaker DIYs as well, but then more recently he's been doing punch needle rug videos <laughs> where he explains his entire creative process on how he makes them and really steps it out in a really easy to understand way, which is what I'm basing most of what I'm doing off today and how I've kind of taught myself how to do this. So a lot of his designs are based on kind of this like flat lay animal pattern, almost like, um, like a hide rug, but much, much, much cooler. <laughs> so I love that vibe so much, but because this shape is a little not perfectly symmetrical, it's kind of got this fun curve. I, I want to do something like that, but a little bit different. And part, part of my brain is like, do something simple. It's your first time, make it manageable. And the other half of my brain is the too much gene that I feel like I have that's like, do something extra and crazy and go for it. Will it be too difficult? I don't know, but I feel like that's the path I have to go down. That's just, that's just who I am as a person. So I've decided <laughs> I want to do a tiger. I think tiger is one of the coolest animals. And I think to fit this shape, I could do this really cool tiger that's got like an arched back that's kind of like, you know how cats do the little stretchy, stretchy thing where they, you know, stretch. <laughs> I don't have a cat. Someone help me out here. You know, cats do that thing where they arch their back and they look really cool. I want to fit my tiger into this lima bean shape that will fit nicely around my toilet. This is looking a lot more like a honey badger than it is a tiger. Now everyone's artistry style is definitely going to be different. Mine is very much make a bunch of sketchy lines and just keep going over them and, adjust and adjusting them and until you like get something that's what you like and then clean it up at the end. <laughs> Okay, I gotta arch his back more to, to mimic the shape of the stomach that's going on here. And I'll, I'll change the tail too, to mimic that. Okay, we're sort of starting to get away from this, the honey badger look. Should I just do a honey badger? Would that be better? It'd be easier. There's probably less colors on a honey badger. <laughs> okay, I have been drawing and playing around with this thing for the last little bit and I am feeling very excited with where I've come. So check this out, you guys. This is 
This was a trust the process drawing, so for all of you that were like, <laughs> that's gonna be ugly. So here is my initial sketch, which I did roughly, and then after feeling good enough about the overall shape, I traced it nicely. So we had something that looks like this. And then the most exciting part is I filled it in with color, and here is how my tiger looks. I, I love him, we need to give him a name, but I think this is gonna be awesome. I am nervous, this is going to be very difficult, but I think it looks really rad and I'm so excited to get started on this. So this is the material I'm gonna be doing my punch needle rug onto. It's called Monk's Cloth and I will link it below. But I just realized I don't own a printer to print out my design on, to trace it onto this. But I do own a projector, so we're gonna have to improvise. <laughs> I think this needs to be backwards, I just realized. Because I'm gonna be punching through and the loops will be the other way. I want my tiger to be facing this way. <gasps> Good catch. All right, let's see it. Okay, um, that's not very intimidating. <laughs> Looks cool though, I love it. I love it already. I'm using the wood frame from an old painting canvas and stapling my monk's cloth to it to hold the fabric tight when I go to use the actual punch needle. Okay, I have everything ready. I think I'm good to start, but before I do that, I wanna make one quick call to a friend just to make sure I am really prepared to do this and grab some last minute advice. So good to chat with you. Um, I'm really excited to e meet you. Yeah, no, I pretty much am. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of your videos, so I can subscribe. I watched them, um, the one ages ago with, um, with Wendy. Yeah, that's like the f I think that's the first one that I've ever seen. So yeah, we've been doing the whole DIY thing on here for a long time, over 10 years now, but always trying to like up our game and learn new things. So that's what brought me to this video. I was like we were talking about, I'm at home, can't do much else. So I was like, oh, I want to learn a new skill. And then your videos came up. I think I saw the leather bag one first. Oh, cool. Which was awesome. Like, this is amazing. I, yeah. I need one. I need to learn how to do this. And then <laughs> the next one was the the punch rug video. I'm like, this is seems like a little bit attainable and really fun. Yes. So yes. I want to try it out. Yeah, no, really. I think that's the best thing about it as well. It's, it, it gives you such a strong, powerful result, but it's so simple to do. Yeah. The, the entry level is so low. So it's like it, anyone can really get into it, which is cool. That's what I thought. So I'm excited to give it a go. Um, how did you get into this? Are you all self-taught? Most things are self-taught. So I went to, um, I'm, I'm studied, so I went to university for illustration. So I okay. had like a basic level of the ideation. Cause I think that's the one thing that I try and stress on my channel is like how to come up with ideas. The reason I teach them is because I think the point is anyone can pick them up. I try and um, like approach things that seem intimidating. Like making a bag seems intimidating, but then I try and go, okay, well, actually if you break it down, anyone can really do this so i was watching tutorials from like old ladies in their um <laughs> spare time <laughs> trying to learn how to do it because like literally there was no tutorials no nothing the closest mm -hmm. thing was there was a few people that had done like generic punch needle tutorials for like how to do patches or just like things but not a specific one for how to do a rug so i just kind of compiled all of the information that the internet would <laughs> allow me to do and just <laughs> Did my best, really. So I drew up a drawing and I want to show you. I might have done it too ambitious though because this is my first time. I think I made it a bit extra, but- oh, We like extra though. You can let me know if this feels attainable. Yeah, I know, I do like extra. <laughs> and that's how I get in trouble sometimes with these projects that are too hard. But I drew a tiger. Nice, that's really pretty. How long do you think this is going to take me? I want it to be about this big, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> how big is that? Would you say that's probably about? I got. I actually I got a ruler. Um, probably about twenty-four inches, maybe twenty to twenty yeah. inches. Okay, with a punch needle, I would say that will take you a good like four or five days. <laughs> Doing it all day. I'd, I'd say so roughly. With, with like obviously food breaks <laughs> and sleeping, but I think like you can have would, food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just about. That will take you a good amount of time, but it's worth it because the result of that all are really nice. 
I do have a question. Which color would you start with? Do you do the big stuff first or do you do the small stuff first? Uh, it depends on your mentality. So like for me, small wins. So like anything that I can finish and feel like I've finished something will make me go on to the next thing. But there's really no rhyme or reason to it. But I would say as a suggestion though, sometimes when you're using the punch needle, the first layer that you do isn't as tall as the second, last and third layer. But basically I would say that if there's something that you really want to highlight, like if there's something that you really want to see super, maybe do that last, just in case okay. like, the loops aren't as deep as you want them to be. But other than that, I think you're good to go. Well, that makes me feel a lot better because as I was drawing, I'm like, oh, this is looking great. And then I stepped back and I was like, what have I done? Is this too difficult? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it looks, I think it's gonna look really great. Especially like the, the larger you can get it, the better. I feel really good about this. I'm glad that this doesn't seem like it's too overwhelming of a project. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's just small like troubleshooting things. Like I said, it's a very forgiving DIY. And then also it's up to you and your level of creativity. Maybe I'll, I'll call you back or I'll send you a photo once I'm done. You can let me know how you think I did. <laughs> yes, that would be great. Actually do that because I really want to see how it turns out. See you later. Bye. Bye. So armed with the tips and confidence boost from my call with Denzel, I was ready to start. So put simply, a punch needle is a tool that helps you push yarn through fabric and on its way back out, it leaves a little loop of yarn at the back. These loops on the back will be what forms the fluffy rug. This is the yarn I'm gonna be using for the bulk of the tiger. It's definitely more mustard than orange, but that's the joys of ordering online these days. I think it's gonna look great anyways. The punch needle comes with a threader to help you bring the yarn through the side hole and out the top of the punch needle. So to start, you need to make one punch through the fabric and pull the tail of the yarn out of the back. The rest of it seemed like it would be pretty self-explanatory, but there was definitely a little bit of a learning curve. <laughs> no! What I eventually figured out is that the key is to punch the needle all the way through the fabric, but when you bring the needle back out, just enough to move it over to the next hole. I also found it helpful to wiggle the needle around a little bit in the area you want it to go until it naturally finds a hole to fall into. If you have to force the needle through the fabric, your loop is not going to form nicely and might just fall out later. And make sure the large opening of the needle is always facing the direction you wanna go and that's the basic gist of it. All I need to do is repeat this process. All right, are you guys ready to see what this looks like on the other side? Oh my God, wait, it looks so good. I thought these would be a lot more uneven because after I checked my first strip, which you can see here, it's like quite uneven. But once, let me cut this. Oh my God, world's worst scissors. <laughs> ah! Once I got in the hang of it, you can see these are way more even. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much, but this is a little tiger paw and I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I'm gonna carry on. Okay, I've been working on this for about a full day now but I do have all of the orange done and I think it's looking incredible I don't know what you can see but <laughs> the even more exciting part is the reverse of it which is looking like this Wow it's giving me like Monstera leaf vibes but make it tiger with all of the little cutouts so that means that I'm ready to move on to my next color I think I'm gonna do the white I think I'm working from like the largest color sections down to the smallest detail which will be probably the pink last but it's as simple as just switching to a new color of yarn threading that through my punch needle and carrying on the same way i have been so far which now that i'm in the routine of it it's going really really fast and really really well Okay guys, the sun is setting, literally setting on day two of working on this, but look at what we have. We have a completely filled in backside and even more exciting is the front, although it's not finished yet, so keep that in mind. But, oh my gosh, I just can't believe how legitimate this looks. So, <laughs> obviously there's still work to do, but 
before I move on to like cleaning it up fully, 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 I want to just get the back on this and get it dry because I'm so nervous that this is all going to unravel when I'm not looking. So to do that, I am just using a giant sheet of craft felt and some literal white craft glue. I'm going to spread that on the back and press this down and let it fully, fully, fully dry. And then tomorrow we can cut it off, clean it up and really see it finished. Okay, it's the next day, the glue is fully dry so I can use some scissors and cut the rug out of the frame. I then went around with the same scissors and cut out the shape kind of more precisely, leaving about a half inch border of the actual material sticking out from the side of the rug. That way I could flip it over and use some glue to push down the edges just to make sure it doesn't fray any further. My first attempt was to use more of the white glue but that didn't hold so I resorted to using a hot glue gun instead which was stronger and faster drying. Now hindsight is 2020, and if I could go back and change anything, I would have cut it out and glued down the edges before adding the felt so that the felt could cover the raw edges. But honestly, this is the backside. You aren't gonna see it, and now I know for next time. And now we're on to the very last step, which is probably the most rewarding step where you get to take some scissors and cut away any of the long straggly bits that you don't need. Just cut them so they are the same height and flush with the rest of the rug. Okay, are you guys ready to see this? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so stinking cute. Oh my God, we need a name for him, her, I don't know. Um, it's, ah, it looks so good on camera. I'm <laughs> just like staring at how good it turned out. And yes, I did dress match the final product today. I had to. Obviously I am over the moon with how this turned out. I'm hoping that you guys are with me and you like it as well, but there was one final person I need to check in with, get the final sign off, the final word of approval um, before we can finish this video. I had so much fun doing this, I just want to say. Nice, I'm glad you did. I'm officially sold on this. I want to tell everyone how great it is and everyone should try it. Are you ready to see how it turned out? I am, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I, I'm really happy with it. So, this is my tiger rug. Hey! Wow. I, it's crazy that you did that in two days. I know. Like, it's yeah. crazy to me that you did that in two days. Mm. Wow. And you know what I mean? You know what I said about the detail as well? Because um, of the shapes that you used, it looks so clean. Yeah, nah, I think it's really powerful as well. Like, it really, like, it's, it, like, because the, the colors are so separate. I love it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Literally couldn't have done it without you because I watched your tutorial like so many times. Oh, thank you. No, honestly, you, you smashed it. Like you really killed it. Like it actually looks, it looks amazing. Do you have any exciting projects coming up? Yeah, so I'm doing, um, I've got my clothing uh, brand launching again. We've got a few new pieces coming out. I'm working on some knitwear. That's uh, so on my website, corygold.com. <laughs> And um, I've got like some projects with a few brands, which I can't talk about yet because um, nothing's been, well, one thing's been signed, but two haven't, so I can't really talk. Oh, that's um, exciting. And other than that, I'm just doing YouTube and stuff. And I've got a few collabs coming with some people that some of your audience might know as well. So that might be a good thing. Too. Oh, that's very exciting. <laughs> and it turned out amazing. Like, are you proud, like, you should be really proud of it. Like, are you proud of it? I am, I am, yeah. I'm amazed at how like professional it looks. Yes, like this is what I keep saying. It's like, it's such an approachable craft to do. Okay, well, I will let you go. Enjoy your Friday, but thank you again. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. So after all of that, we learned a new skill and would I recommend punch needling? Yes, I think it's obvious. I had so much fun. I honestly think anyone could do it. It's such a simple thing to learn how to do. And you get to make something that is so cool and just looks so legit. I just keep saying legit. Like I would go into a store and see this and want to buy it. It looks so, so good. And I know I said this was meant to go in my bathroom, but I honestly think it's almost too cute for a bathroom. But I will show you it there as well, just so you can see how well it does fit the space. I want to give a big thank you to Denzel from the Curry Goat channel for helping me out with this video. I couldn't have done it without him literally his tutorials are so informative and helpful so if you want to learn more about punch needling i will link him and his channel below along with his online shop if you'd like to go support him i hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new if you want to see another one of these videos where we taught ourselves a new technique i'm going to link one in the description i did felting last time that was so much fun if there is any type of technique like this that you want to see us try out tell me below and maybe we will do it for the next one all right thanks so much for watching guys bye